All right, looking very, very frantically for a place to move. And I pulled up the watering system and I hadn't been taking care of the garden, but curiosity always gets me. So I come out here every few days to see what's going on. I wanna show you the mutations that I found. This is a normal stem, but an abnormal tip to the end of the cucumber vine. And this is an abnormal stem, very uh, boxy, very thick, and with the profusion of blooms at the end. This is, this is a normal looking end to the vine, normal shape to the vine. And I have a whole bunch of abnormalities showing up on my sunflowers. Very normal development on the stem. And then this is where the flower head should be. There's nothing here. I have a few that are like that, and then I have a few that are multiple heads. Very normal growth. It's about four feet tall. And there's some sunflowers. abnormal shape. This one doesn't even look like it's gonna open up proper at all. Very abnormal. Misshapen. This one's looking normal, and this one right next to it has no flower. This is looking normal. This one has a split down here and three heads, very small. This one has no flower head. This one is an abnormal shape. This one looks normal, but small. This one's really small. And this one has nothing. It's hard to just watch it die. I have mixed feelings on even letting it uh, stay here. I, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm not doing these insects an injustice by letting them feed from, from these plants that I'm not sure what's happening with them. That one's abnormal shape. This is the t one of the tallest. This is easily five foot. So weird to see the lines between life and death. It's all green here. And it's dead. And then where the tractor just mixed missed where it was making some passes is alive. Alright, it's my update. I don't know what's happening here. If this is a viral thing if this is radiation, if this is chemicals, I have no idea. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.